All right, let's just jump into it. So um, t we're doing Hero Hey. Uh, we're just gonna look at some of his videos and see what I think. Hero Hey is is weird. He's like, I go on Twitter so that you don't have to because I'm like the hero or something. I don't know. It, he he's just odd. He's just odd, and he makes these very short videos. He he's. I don't know, he doesn't have enough in him to talk very much. He talks about a lot of, like, anime news and stuff. So what are we gonna watch? What's a good one? I remember his video on Dragon Maid being in a school library and how a parent was confused why it was in a school library. That's a little bit weird for Dragon Maid to be in a school library, but, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know. These Attack on Titan fans, let's see it. Uh, let's just click on this one. Yesterday I reported on this situation in Japan where the Attack on Titan airing was interrupted because a 4.6 magnitude earthquake struck causing emergency broadcasting to take over. I also found someone living in Japan yeah, that who recorded that happening and I might post about that next, so stay tuned. But for this video now, let's get started. I'm going to do a compilation of sorts because I'm baffled by the amount of toxicity there was in the responses. Oh, there's just people shitting on the studio? That's dumb. Because there was an earthquake? Okay, there's nothing I really disagree with here. There's- there's nothing contentious here. Yeah, no, there- there was nothing here. Okay. Well, I really want to watch this video, so we're going to watch this video. There's this thread going around on Twitter with over 8,300 likes saying that Hanji is non-binary. And if you don't use the proper pronouns, then you're a T-phobe. They then also added a that non-binary people are- Why don't you just say transphobe? I don't- I don't think you're going to get, like, completely demonetized for that. I- okay, so when it comes to Hanji, I'm pretty sure- they refer to Hanji by she, her. I can understand how you can, like, headcanon them as non-binary, but I think canonically, they're she, her. And people in the original source use she, her. So, I don't know. And, and there's no, like, there's no, like, plot point about her gender and her gender expression like there would be for... A character like Ferris Argyle in ReZero, where the world of ReZero is not super socially progressive. There, you know, there's segregation between regular humans and demi humans, and that it's just it's just not as generally progressive. So she is dead named while she works and. She has to, she, she changes her attire when she's out of work. And there's a whole entire side story specifically about her internal conflict with her gender identity. Whereas with Hanji Zo, that's just not, that's just not present in Attack on Titan's story. But the way the character is, acts, and behaves, it, it's not, I can understand why someone would headcanon that, but... It's, it wouldn't be actually canon to the story. I don't know. Allowed to call Hanji whatever they want, essentially, but if you're a cis person, you can't call Hanji a she slash her or a woman. I got to say, this sort of selective policing seems like something only a fascist would do. Well, seven years oh, ago, okay. Kodansha okay. That was... To just call him a fascist? I think that was dumb. Like, yeah, you could say it's a little authoritarian, but it's not, like, authoritarian right. The, like, this isn't... This isn't fascist, and this has nothing to do with the government. This, this is people talking about a fucking anime character. Og, they said that Izayama told them that they're not allowed to confirm Hanji's gender, or to at least use he and she with equal frequency. But here's the kicker. Someone then said to Kodansha that they are getting threatening messages from people because they choose to view Hanji as a woman, even after their comment, to which Kodansha said- Wait, so hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Isayama told them that they're not allowed- Isayama has confirmed we're not allowed to confirm Hanji's gender. He has instructed us to avoid using gendered pronouns when referring to Hanji, or at least- 
to use he and she with equal frequency. That's pretty cool. That that sounds like non-binary vibes to me. So I think Hanji, I, I guess going off of this, is just in any pronouns type of character. Like, they, they just use any pronouns. Okay. Okay, well, that, that's, that answers our question. Any pronouns. Isayama said there, there is no confirmed gender, and just use any pronouns. Use, use them equally. Okay, there we go. We have our answer. Awesome. Allowed to confirm Hanji's gender, or to at least use he and she with equal frequency. But here's the kicker. Someone then said to Kodansha that they are getting threatening messages from people because they choose to view Hanji as a woman even after their comment, to which Kodansha says, I obviously don't speak for Izayama, however my impression is that he thinks Hanji's gender identity is not important to the story's telling, and so he wanted to give readers the freedom to come up with their own interpretation. They would okay, yeah, so the author's just like, headcanon it, whatever. The, okay, when it comes to any media, there could always be things that you can interpret and view in different ways from other members of the audience. An example would be Wonder Egg Priority and whether a character named Momo, uh, Momo Sawaki, I believe, there's, there's a big debate about whether or not that she is a trans girl. And I'm going to talk more about Wonder Egg Priority when the series ends on Tuesday next week. But the gist of Wonder Egg Priority and like this instance specifically is that some people interpret Momo as a trans girl. Other people think that she's a cis girl. And the show is ambiguous and it gives evidence for both perspectives. And I think that when it comes to art, you know, it's it's just people can interpret things in different ways. I mean, I related to Momo as a trans girl, and her experience in the show very much was similar and reflected my experience. And so there's nothing wrong with that. And if other people saw her as more of like a cis girl who is having problems with her gender identity... I could I can understand that and there's nothing wrong with having different interpretations. So why I bring this up is because when you have disagreements such as with Attack on Titan or Wonder Egg or any series, you should never send threatening messages to the people that you disagree with. Even if you think that they're incredibly wrong, absolutely wrong. Like just what they're saying is completely false. Do not threaten their physical well-being that is just something that i can never support or endorse so yeah if you're gonna learn something from this video learn that i could also say but if anyone is threatening or insulting you because of how you choose to read a piece of fiction that both of you enjoy it seems to me that these people are profoundly missing the point and are worth ignoring so to this person who is insulting others over Hanji and the 8,300 plus people that agree with them, have fun being a bunch of fascists that even Kodansha doesn't agree with. Okay, why are you calling them fascists? That makes Hirohei sound like he doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't know. And it's also weird how he self-censored the word transphobe. Like, are, are you afraid of that word or something? I don't know. It's just odd to me. Redo of Healer. Let's, let's, let's hear it. Well, I guess today's a Redo of Healer news day. If you missed the earlier news, link to that segment in the description. And now on to this. I gotta watch that Redo, too. Ryu Sukio is claiming that more women are watching Redo than other anime. He says this data is provided to him. I saw this tweet. I saw this tweet on Twitter. So the author's like, I'm surprised to hear that the percentage of female viewers is higher than the average in the Redo of Healer's animation. Calculation method is member information of the distribution site. So there's this huge claim, but we don't get actually, I haven't seen any data. I, I looked, but I haven't seen any data for this. But let's watch Hero Hey. A streaming service. If this is accurate, more men are indeed watching Redo than women, but more women are watching Redo than the average amount of women watching other anime. 
Yeah, like, like they don't, they're not actually showing the numbers. Which is still a hilarious statistic in my humble opinion. You could say female viewers have a higher demand for redo content than other anime in general right now. And that's literally the news. I have nothing else to really say except- Yeah, it's just no data. There's, there's just no data. They're just making the claim that female people watch this more. And whether it's true or not, I don't think it's very relevant. The, st the series is still kind of shit and it still has shit portrayals of women. And, you know, women liking it more doesn't, doesn't change anything. Now, when it comes to Redo of Healer, you know, I have my opinions of it. I don't like it. But if other people do like it, that's, it's not my place to tell them they can't. I'll think that's kind of sus, but, like, I'm not going to completely hate you for <laughs> liking Redo of Healer. Um... An example of this, of a person that actually, I actually follow on Twitter who likes Redo of Healer, um, her name is Lilith Lovett. I absolutely love her Twitter, and she is a fan of Redo of Healer, and I think that's a little weird, but it's, 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 she likes what she likes. I don't really know how else to explain it. I'm not gonna shit on you for having bad taste and hate you for having bad taste in anime. I don't know. I can understand the appeal of watching it because it's so fucking absurd and just getting enjoyment out of that, I guess, but I don't know. It's bad. It's it's bad. And I, I actually told Lilith on Twitter, like, you have shit taste, but, like, it's okay. Enjoy what you enjoy. Um, and I think she actually liked that tweet, so... Whatever. It's It's not... I feel like these people are making it a bigger deal than it needs to be. Um, okay, yeah, this video, let's see what this is My about. My buddy DeFay sent me this news, and I haven't really been able to stop laughing since I found out about it. Essentially, what's going on here is a collaboration between a Japanese cafe and Redo of Healer. Of all the anime, they picked Redo of Healer. Obviously, Redo is popular right now, given all the news about it and that it's currently airing. But what are customers supposed to expect with a Redo collab? Cool. Like asking for no cream in their coffee and ending up with extra cream? Early though, from March 16th to the 28th at Maki locations in Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, Neshan, and Kitakushu. This is actually pretty sick though. Get an original novelty by ordering the collaboration menu. I want one of those. I want all of them, actually. Here's the special food and drinks. You can see the translation did get a little... There's scuffed, nothing wrong with this. Right there. There's the foods. And now let me scroll some more for the drinks. By the way, said soon as Waffle Parfait. Yes, please. Drink menu. There you go. Unfortunately, us overseas... There's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. Glad, glad the author is getting these cool deals and whatnot. And I don't think there's anything wrong with people enjoying a shit series at a restaurant and and making like you know just having food and and sharing art about it listen when it comes to redo of healer or similar series it's art whether you like it or not um it's art that i think is is disgusting and kind of repulsive but you know people are allowed to make whatever art they want in my opinion it's at the end of the day it's lines on a paper and they're i don't know to to regulate and ban that like some people call for it's it's just not very libertarian to me i don't know i'm kind of i'm kind of libertarian i, I like people to have a lot of freedom and i just don't want to regulate what people can mark on paper so yeah the author com like totally has freedom to do whatever they want, even if I disagree with it. That's that's my stance. Um, hmm. Japanese people obliterate Western bigot. This has got to be a good one. I saw some Japanese people talking about the Pearl incident from yesterday, and I would like to show some of their takes. So that's the plan, and this will probably be my the final Pearl incident. On this topic. I Let's don't know. Go. Okay, so this person on Twitter named Pearl. Anyways, before I go to bed, TLDR, an artist drew Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. I, I do not know how to pronounce that. And made Knuckles white, so I edited him to be black because, you know, he's black-coded. Textbook black-coding. 
Okay. That's just weird. Uh, are Knuckles black in the first place? Do we have to apply the actual race to the anthropomorphic character in the original sense? This is weird. He's black coated. He literally has dreadlocks. What? What the fuck? Okay. Sure. I. I need a Sonic enthusiast to, uh, to, I need to consult a Sonic enthusiast for this. Is Knuckles really black coated? I don't know, I'm not a Sonic fan, but it's just weird. There are no blacks or whites. Uh, this is so weird. Like, why is this content? I don't, I don't understand. It, it's just people on Twitter being weird. Anime profile pics are racist? Teach there me. There is so much craziness going on today. And I'm already behind Summon the I did not post yesterday. I don't know how I'm going to cover all this stuff, but here's the first topic. So did you guys know, apparently, uh, we can't use anime profile pictures anymore? Unless you're Asian, then you're allowed to, according to oh. this person. With over 13,000 likes. That's a lot of likes. Tweeting this again with replies off. Newsflash. Using a Asian name slash characters online as your persona when you're not Asian at all is racism. But we all overlook it under the guise of appreciation. It's fetishizing and entitlement to a culture that you choose to participate in. If you're some... Yeah, no, I think this is dumb as fuck. Um, kinda woke, Scoldy. Uh, you're allowed to like anime. At the you're like you're allowed to like anime, like the anime art, make it your profile picture. And hell, I'll even say you're allowed to have a name in your online profile that's Japanese. Why not? Why not? It's not hurting anyone. It really isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> I think if it hurts someone, I think they're just being sensitive at this point. This is this is kind of woke scoldy. And yeah, I think I would agree with your hey here. And woke scoldy people and people who are just oversensitive and people who lean left like this are just incredibly problematic because people like Hero Hey and and others, people who just aren't that left-leaning, they see that and they go, okay, this is just dumb. Why would I want to be a part of the left? And it's just really bad optics. And the less people on the left, the less of a chance that we have at getting our ideas pushed out and actually making change. We need people, as many people as we can, to get the things that we want to happen, happen. And I just think that things like this really push people away. Someone who is doing this, this isn't the post to say. <laughs> Your avatar looks like an anime character. Does that mean you're racist? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess I guess my avatar just tells people like, I just fucking hate Asian people. I don't <laughs> like what I, I don't fucking know. Or a bad person. It's to say, hey, this is something that is actually a big issue, and Asian people are harmed by it. Hopefully this can be a step to educate- Are you an Asian person? Is, is this Lily person an Asian person? Has ha Have they personally been harmed? Because this Lily person is talking like they're not Asian, and it's really weird. It's really fucking weird. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's kind of like the the Latinx stuff where it's like actual Latino people are like, hey, I don't like that. That that's kind of it, it's kind of like my culture to to call it Latino and you're kind of like destroying that. I don't like that. 
and then white people on Twitter be like, no, call it Latinx to not be offensive. And then the actual Latino people are like, no, that's offensive. And it's just, I don't know. This, this person is possibly a white person. Like, it's just very, very likely. I mean, it, based on what I've seen on Twitter, I don't have any evidence, but whatever. <laughs> up on why that is. I feel like I shouldn't have to tell people to think critically about this tweet if it applies to you, but obviously if you're raised or born in Asian culture, or if it's your legal name, this tweet is not about you and is about people who choose to take on Asian identities they have no tie to. I will also say that Asian people are guilty of this too. In our own communities, we appropriate and use black culture, fashion, and speech. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They, they use we. Asian people are guilty in our own culture. We, implying that this person is Asian. Okay, that's interesting. If this person is Asian and they're complaining about this, that, that, I have to just take back what I said because I was speculating. Um... So now that I have that information, still, how does it hurt you? How, how, I need to, I, like, my brain does not compute. How does someone calling themselves an Asian name online? Like, for example, Hidori Rose. Hidori Rose is a an 18-plus model, and... Her real name isn't Hidori Rose. It's like her online stage name. But Hidori clearly isn't American, and she's not Japanese. So I, I want to know, how does someone like Hidori Rose harm you just by having the name that she chose? I, I really, I cannot compute. I, I, I'm not, so, something is just not hitting the neuron in the right spot, you know, it's it's kind of like when you're trying to put something up your butt and hit the prostate, sometimes you just miss. And it's like that with, with my neurons right now. It's like an inch away. So, I don't know. I don't get it. Someone explain it to me. <laughs> Without the backlash black people face for the same facets on top of the internalized colorism Asians have always had. Okay, I just need to say, if you think like that, something's very wrong with you. Like, just because people like some things from Asia doesn't mean they're fetishizing it. What kind of weirdo thinks that way? And the whole thing about people using Asian names slash characters being overlooked because of appreciation? I don't even know where they got that from. For example, and this is anecdotal. They're angry at literally Japanese nothing, yeah. Living in Japan pretty much every day. I also talk to Thais a lot because I train Muay Thai. And these people all know, like... I'm into anime and Japanese culture and stuff like that. None of them have had an issue with it at all. I mean, actually, it's kind of the opposite. They're okay, now he's talking like anecdotally. I don't really care it. anymore. Okay. Well, we've been talking about Hirohei for 24 minutes. He used fascism as a word when it wasn't appropriate to use it. So that was kind of dumb. Overall, my thoughts on Hirohei... I agree with him sometimes. I disagree with him other times. He's a weird, iffy kind of guy. I would love to have a conversation with him. And I, I think the reason why I would love to have a conversation with him is because I would want to tell him that there are people who are more left and progressive leaning who are not fucking crazy.